there's a bunch of characters that came out in this movie. I mean, they're already over the top as it is. For them to start, they they brought in Furiosa, Captain Marvel, Aquaman, Jack Reacher, the Peacemaker, and then they f-ing bring in Black Adam at the end. I mean, how much more <laughs> over the top can you be? Multiverse, my. I know, right? They just did everything. It, well, <laughs> and that's because it's all coming to an end. Welcome everybody to episode twenty. Why you sound so dismal? Five. I'm trying to mellow out because I'm all. Are you? Where? Yeah. Um, twenty-five. I believe. I believe. I'll, uh, it'll be right there. Yeah. Of Mount Nine. Of M O T. That number nine. Don't forget, guys. Check us out at mountnine.com for all the links. And keep in mind that this is the video, the short version. If you hear weird edits when you're listening to the audio, it's because you're listening to the audio of the video. But we have a full length audio, which is all the dumb shit we say. Very little editing, mostly for not time, but for little breaks that we do. But other than that, that's a full episode. So I don't know what one, what, which, which is more exciting did you watch Transformers? No. Fear the Walking Dead? Hell no. <laughs> it's the last season. That uh, Spider Man? Hell uh, yeah. Across the Spider Verse? Hell yeah, I did. Flash? Yes, I did. Secret Invasion? I didn't. First episode. I was trying to watch Wednesday night. Yeah. And Cinda and I decided, like, nah, let's let's watch something else because I don't think she's going to be too into it. So then I'm like, okay, I'll watch it during the day. Didn't get a chance. I'll watch it during work. Definitely didn't get a chance. And by the time I was done, I hadn't taken a nap during the day. So I was dead tired. I went to bed, watched a TikTok, fell asleep, said, fuck that, put my phone down, knocked out. Fast X? Yeah, oh, hell yes. I wasn't going to miss that. Well, let's start there. Why? Why do you want to start with Fast X? Why do you want to start with the best review that we're going to have on this episode? It was a 10. <clears throat> 10. It's, it's number, fast, it's number it's 10. It's fast 10. It's so therefore, 10. it is a 10. It's not a 10, but it's number 10. It is a 10. It was not a 10. You're right. It was a 10 and a half. It was that good. No. Over the top. Okay, I will say, uh, I'm, okay, all joking aside, it was not as over the top as the, uh, some of the other ones. I want to say, I don't even remember which one's which, to be honest, but what, I think it was the last one or the one before that where they actually went up into space. Yeah, I think it was the one before, I think it was eight or something. I, I think. That's when the Transformers came out, right? Right. I think it's a bit silly that I'm. I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> um, it's a bit silly that people shit on these movies the way that they do, but then they'll turn around and watch uh, Mission Impossible. That's great. Or they'll watch John Wick. <laughs> like, these things aren't pot. Nobody does these things. They're all ridiculous. But because Fast and Furious started with car racers that were st- robbing trucks, and, and then- all of a sudden they're international spy level guys that with know. superhero powers let's not let's not skip over that part dom has superhero powers apparently he can stomp on the ground and cause a mini earthquake or flat of a car and land on his feet without a scratch on him yeah not even dirty in his tank I, top I, or whatever i get the ridiculous i think the most the most over the top that they did and if you haven't seen it <laughs> there's a bunch of characters that came out in this movie. I mean, they're already over the top as it is. For yeah. them to start, they they brought in Furiosa, Captain Marvel, Aquaman, Jack Reacher, the Peacemaker, and then they fucking bring in Black Adam at the end? I mean, how much more <laughs> over the top can you be? Multiverse my ass. I know, right? They just did everything. It, well, <laughs> and that's because it's all coming to an end. Thank so. you, Lord. <laughs> 
<laughs> you really not like, like is it that you genuinely dislike them or is it more it's popular to shit on i think it just got over the too over the top for me i mean i don't mind watching expendables and that's like but that's what i mean like let's say if you were to take like let's say the last three and didn't know that they started off with street racer bullshit i don't know i don't know I think, not... I think even the fight scenes are like well that's what action movies are that, yeah but that's where that's where i find it out because like i like i keep saying i prefer a decent story and some of these action movies don't have any what was the one that we were talking about last time that i was just like the story just see Sisu. Just it, the story is not fucking there. Yeah, it's just not. But the action is over the top. This one, to me, has at least maybe because of the family thing, because I think I am a little bit more like, OK, that's kind of cool to me. Yeah. Over the top. Yes. Ridiculous. Whatever. But to me, the most ridiculous part is the kid. The, the opening scene where they're he's doing the, the thing, blah, blah, and then it shows he's that it's a kid. Or some shit. And then he actually does one of the stunt, not the actual stunt, but he does one of the things like later on in the movie. I'm like, bro, come on. Like, yeah. I, I get that he's part of the family, but come on. That, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah. But, I think it, it's just the over the top, unbelievable, like fight scenes. And like, I don't mind explosions and cars flying and, you know, yeah. helicopters exploding. I don't mind that shit. But when it's like, like fight scenes that are like, not, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Can you take anything positive from this movie? I like hot rods. I like old cars. Okay. That's one of the main reasons I got into this, the movie from the beginning mm -hmm. was because I liked cars. And Dom has a charger and, you know, whatever. So the other ones, you know what I mean? I'm not too fond of, but, you know, they go fast. So, yeah. Okay. But that uh, but that would be a, a little more the series. Like this specific movie is what's the what's the most positive thing you, t you took from this <sighs> that you can give it its props for? I have a I have a huge one. And that's what she said. Um. While you think about it real quick, go check the... Yes. Sorry, that sounded that sound a little too commandy. No, it's okay, but I was going to do that. I was just trying to look for a spot. Like... So, yeah. So... Hey, did uh, did the Aquaman die in this one? Did they kill him? Jason yeah. Mumaw? I don't remember it. So. No, no, they left a cliffhanger to where they're continuing. Because it, like, this is part one of a three-part finale. So... Which, that is ridiculous. Was he trying to be just... Extra flamboyant. Okay, that's, that's, that's where I was. That's where I was headed with <laughs> with the question of what the positive that you take because that's my positive. I absolutely fucking love Jason Momoa in this as a villain in this movie. But it was so much fucking fun. Can I shit on it? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. just I, I shit on movies all the time. So I just I don't I don't know I just didn't like it. I thought it feel like it felt like to me that like he was overacting. Where, I don't know, it's, I see him in a couple other, like, he's acting like, what was that movie where he was wearing the top hat and he was an imaginary person or some shit? Ooh. On I Netflix. I, I'm Sweet not gonna Tooth remember. or some shit. I'm not going to remember. I didn't watch it, but I remember seeing something about it. So he was already, like, a little bit, I'm not going to say flamboyant, but very, like, open in that sense mm -hmm. as in like his character was a little bit more outrageous ambiguous ambiguous but this one's just like over the top yes um it, his his uh his the way he dressed was mm -hmm. very over the top i see where they were trying to get the character i just don't think that he fit like it feels like they had somebody else in mind to do that character but they ended up with jason momoa Okay, I, I don't kind kind of see. That. I don't know I don't who know can do it. I don't know who it, who they kind of like thought about, but it seems like that. It made the movie fun, where I thought he was just going to be a very stoic, yeah, typical typical villain. villain. Yeah, and it. I think those are some of the more memorable memorable villains. Yeah, I mean, think about um, Javier Bardem in what was it the I can't remember which of the James Bond movies. That he he even though he was a little more stoic, he still added a certain flair. Yeah, which made him memorable. Um, him in fucking No Country for Old Men. Oh yeah, okay. It, it's those off the wall villains that just make it. That's why people love the Joker. The I way was they thinking. Do. I thought you were gonna say uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. 
See, even though I don't like Johnny Depp, uh, just him that that off the wall even though he's technically not a villain yeah but that type of stuff it i think it makes me more excited for the possibility of him playing lobo lobo yeah so i, I think that i just had so much i hope they it. do it was so much fun. i don't know I because mean, he's still apparently he's gonna he's not stuck but he's gonna continue playing aquaman so speaking of dc <laughs> transit okay well real quick uh, rating you uh, will not watch this again no okay maybe I'd, i would maybe Six. I give I, it a six. Honestly, dude, I can give this like a seven and a half. I want to give it an eight, but honestly, it's like more of a seven and a half because they are ridiculous. Yeah. I gladly admit they are totally fucking ridiculous. But I in, I enjoy the series. Yeah. And I enjoy okay, Jason Momoa. It is enjoyable, but not, not rewatchable. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah, I could definitely. Uh, Sisu. I, I, I enjoyed it, you. but honestly, I don't think I'd watch. I'd rather watch John Wick again. Yeah. I mean, I like Sisu visually. Like we were saying that episode, the yeah, visual as far as cinematic, just the cinematography, directing, score, all that. It was a good movie. Yeah. It was people can say whatever they want. It was well made. It was a well made movie. Nice. So, like you were saying, transition. Speaking of which, speaking of which, Z Flash. Max was saying about like how he stands now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has like this. Posture, look, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Damn, is that? No, I was gonna say is that Israel Miller, but hopefully not. <laughs> Jeez, knock on wood. Hopefully he doesn't turn out like that guy. Um, let's start off with ratings and then justify it from there, because I can honestly say I will give this lower than Fast X. Oof. Uh, let's let's just throw it out there. I okay. honestly give it. I don't. I don't want to give it a six and a half. There's a specific reason why I'll give it a seven. It should be a six and a half. But then something happens in the movie that gives it seven, maybe even a seven and a half. See, and, see and I'm, 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 I'm stuck at seven. Okay. I'm stuck at seven only because of the storyline. As far good as... Good or bad? Good. As really? A, yeah, as far as the storyline. But it's still nostalgia weighs heavy on everything about the movie. For sure, nostalgic for nostalgic reasons, it gets a higher rating for me. Yes, agreed. Because I think that, you know, even he, what's his face coming in as the Batman and being retired and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Them still showing other people. You know what I mean? I think that's what kind of like brought it together. But it still felt kind of like there was a lot of plot holes, only because of all the Henry Cavill shit and. You know, everything that's going on with Black Adam and blah, 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 right. blah, blah, you know. So I, I think that because of that, it wasn't as good. But, I mean, we're going to we're gonna assume that this is the end of this series, right? That they're not going to do anything else? Kind of. Uh, apparently, this, this movie is supposed, because of the whole multiverse thing, yeah. their version of it, it's supposed to not reset necessarily, but say like, yeah, that stuff happened. But we're going to continue from here knowing that that stuff happened. Like, they're not going to just erase it from the timeline. Yeah. They're going to say, well, yeah, that was what happened. But because of the multiverse stuff, now we're heading in another direction. And that's still part of it. Yeah. Which is smart in that sense. The problem I have with the story is that I saw the trailer and I know what story this was kind of supposed to be. Which we've talked about a couple of times, a Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah. And they completely fucked that up. So Flashpoint Paradox, uh, it's animated. Right now it's on HBO Max. Go watch that instead. That was way better than Okay, so that was old Batman because I did see about half of it, right? It was old. The It was an older Batman. Uh, Batman well, it's that, not. Cause, yeah, because it's not Bruce Wayne. It's it Thomas is. Wayne, the dad. Like, bro, we're, we're supposed to get the Flashpoint Paradox. And instead all we get is that he went. he's in this other parallel universe. And he's fighting redo- They're redoing Zod. Yeah, it's it's they're redoing su- Superman, the Man of Steel. Yeah, they re- they were redoing that with a female Superman or Supergirl, or whatever, and Zod, and he's just, like, we didn't get any of what we wanted. Yeah. None. Yeah, so, I don't know. It 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 played off of the hype, and it didn't live up to the hype at all. No. I mean, Michael Keaton did. He, that, ca- he pretty much carried the movie. He, yeah, he saved the movie for sure. That it was, it, it was a little too on the nose with yeah. the callbacks. Yeah, 
they could have done it without it. Like, I mean, just literally having them stand there. That. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, you didn't even say it the same way. I get it, whatever. But yeah, that line, I think yeah. he has another one, but I can't remember right so now. So is he the one that originally said, I'm Batman? Yeah. He is, right? Yeah. That, that, I was that thinking was before, like line. Adam West. I'm like, no, Adam West didn't do that. I'm pretty sure they said it, but he's the one that but made he's that the one that it was just, And everybody, you know, talks about him. I mean, impersonates him when he says, oh, yeah, I'm Batman. It, but, I mean, he's for especially our generation. Yeah, he was the first Batman that we got to see on the yeah. big screen. Like he's the one, and I'd like to shit on Tim Burton, but ultimately thank you, Tim Burton, for yeah. bringing that to the first two Batmans from '89 or whatever they were. Oh my god, dude! That, fuck out of here. We got to, you. Look at it now. It's like eh, it's a little okay. I watched it. So much. I rewatched the first Batman. Uh, but before, it's dated. Yeah, you go back it and watch Tobey Maguire Spider Man, and it's, it's also pretty fucking dated. dated. I I did see, however, this TikTok that was like, why why did this Batman you know retire? Mm. You know, did you see that one that I sent you? Uh-uh. They're like, well, why wasn't there any villains? You know, why is it that you know Gotham was good now? Well, mm-hmm. shit. Well, this is the only Batman that actually killed people. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know? That's true. It's like he unalived this person. You know, he unalived this person. That TikTok was like, you know how they like to say unalived. Yeah. He unalived this one. So nobody was left. <laughs> He's like, so yeah, Gotham was safe. And he retired because he killed everybody. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's it. I did my job. And that that would be a hell of an <laughs> argument. It's like, there you go. If he did his fucking job right the way he's supposed to, instead of moping around like a little emo bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so try, so that we can move on because yeah. we got a lot of shit to cover. Um, <laughs> the the thing that saved it, and I got crazy fucking emotional at the end of this fucking movie. I mean, you want to talk about nostalgia yeah. when they blew up the universe and they're starting to show that get dude. I'm gonna get fucking teared up right now. Fucking Christopher Reeves. Yes. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That yep. I really enjoyed. Uh, What's her face as Supergirl. Yeah. Um, I forgot it's unfortunately, name. it's unfortunate that they didn't write a good enough story for her. Yeah. Sasha Kaye. Kaye. Um, I think she did great. Yeah, I'd, she did great. I'd, I'd love to see her. She just didn't have enough backstory for us to really care. Yeah. Dude, her, but, her fighting Zod, that shit was fucking badass. Yeah, I think so. Her but, being that pissed off, like she wasn't ready. She was going to kill him. But, like, but then... Sorry. But then when they, you know, they kept trying to go back and fix it, go back and fix it. I was like, okay, they're going to fix it. Okay, maybe not. Okay, they're going to fix it. Okay, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of like realized, oh, shit, it's because that, that, you know, that universe, this is what's going to happen. Inevitably, everybody, they're all going to die. Ends out wins. This might be our segue, but I think, I think they got wind of what Across the Spider-Verse was doing with the can canon they call it something canon point or canon event yeah. something like that to where it doesn't matter what multi how many different multiverses there are there's certain things that are going to be the same regardless inevitably they're inevitable, inevitable. like thanabos like thanabos the hell is that uh, it's it's not Raiden? it's not like i said probably a 7 just because and that it's getting lower than fast x for me yeah I want to give it a six or six and a half because it was that bad. But like I said, the nostalgic stuff put me way over the top. I'm, I got, I got, I literally teared up. I was like, oh, dude, get. I was not expecting any of that at all. Yeah. And the Christopher, Christopher Reeves is what got me. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Dude, that's, he's like, he's OG. not, he's not the best Superman per se, but as far as encompassing the wholesomeness, yeah. I don't know if you can beat oh, Christopher no. Reeves, dude. No. So, yeah. I'm surprised that they didn't put Brandon Routh in there somehow. I like that Superman. Yeah. I don't know why people shit on it, but yeah. So uh, uh, seven. I was hoping to even see uh, what's his name um, from Batman and Joker with Heath Ledger, uh, Christian Bell. Christian Bell. But then at the end we get George Clooney, and I was like, oh yeah, he was Batman. <laughs> see, and I that's forgot. that's what I don't understand. How? Because they don't. Okay, another thing, real quick. They don't give us any. They gave us a. Uh, End credit, yeah, but it does nothing to advance the story. We get not, yeah. not. So what are they doing? They're leaving him in this universe where he's still not back where he should be. Yeah, is there a Flash two and that's going to be the continue? It? I don't know. I don't think. I don't think they're going to continue it. I don't but. think so either. It just doesn't fucking make any sense. But yeah. whatevs, whatevs. 
So we're going to leave there and, and we're back. Miles Morales. I had forgotten that we were going to talk about that one. Miles. To go from Fast X and Flash to this is a huge jump. I do have some issues, though. Of course. You always do. I didn't have issues with Fast X. Um, you go ahead. You start us. Where are you at? I give this... I'm just going to give you the rating right now. And let's go. It's a nine. Vis- what, well, visually. what did you what did you give, or if you can rate it now, what did you give into the spider race? I don't even remember. Probably well, that, probably a nine also. So yeah. for you, they're both they're both equally nines. as good. Yeah. Uh, the storyline I thought was good. I really liked uh, the Spider Verse because that's what they're calling it, right? The Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. I really like the Spider Verse and how they put. All the other Spider-Men and the women together, you know what I mean? The story. And then realizing the reason behind the Spider-Verse. And the reason behind, you know, everybody was (laughs) up in Miles Morales' face. Mm -hmm. That kind of like, I had no idea. Did you? No. So for me, it was just like, oh, okay, that makes perfect sense. Uh, yeah. Oscar Isaac voices uh, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Is that him? Oscar Isaac is Miguel. I think so. Oh shit! I didn't realize or, that because it's not. I thought it was for some reason. I thought it was uh, Pedro Pascal, but it's not. Yeah, those two poor guys are interchangeable at this point. Let's see, cast. Uh, yeah, Oscar Isaac's. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. Um, I'll let you continue, but just for comparison sakes, I give the Spider Verse probably a nine and a half. Yeah, I like it that much. What is definitely rewatchable? Either way, whether it's a nine and a half or a nine, I'm gonna say nine. I'm gonna say nine. I'm gonna say nine. Okay. Um, across the Spider Verse would be eight and a half. Really, okay. it's really, it's really, really good, but I have some issues with I'm going to I'm going to stray from our formula here. I'm going to say eight and three quarters. The only reason I knock it and it's really stupid. I admit that I did not expect this to be um, to be continued moving. I was expecting oh. to get a finished product. Okay. And the fact that they left that big of a cliffhanger, I was like, bro, and this is why. It was two hours or two and a half? Two hours. Just two over hours. two hours. Yeah, they're over two hours. You can't give me a two-hour movie that doesn't have a full story, a completed story. Infinity War did it, yeah. but they had a lot of shit in there yeah. to cover. This one didn't cover as much for it to be two hours. They they were f- focusing too much on his existential story of am I Spider-Man? Am I not Spider-Man? Like, kind of like what, what to- uh, was it Tobey Maguire went through in, in that one Spider-Man where he's doing the emo shit where he's trying to find himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had that little crisis. I get that, but it almost seemed like it was a co-story between him and Gwen. And that's what made it two hours. So you don't give me that and then give me that big of a cliffhanger and say, oh, the next one will be out next year. Yeah. I, and, and that's why I say it's a dumb reason. As far as just the movie itself, it was just as good as fucking Into the Spider-Verse. It, all the stuff that they brought into it. Yeah. Just everything about it was fucking phenomenal. I'm going to tell you this. We just recently watched Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. And I really like him. Bro, for the longest time when it first came out before Into the Spider-Verse, yeah. that people were like, oh, no, the Tobey Maguire's is about it. I'm like, bro, why are you shitting on Andrew Garfield? That yeah. fucking... Um, the Amazing Spider-Man yeah. has, to me, I'm, I need to really think about, but in movies and stuff, any Spider-Man action that I've seen, Amazing Spider-Man has the best Spider-Man moment that I've ever seen, where he's fighting Electro, yeah. that they have that little... Stare the 
bleachers. Okay. And the people are going to run oh. up. And he flip, and then in that split second, he's calculating this, this, this. And then he just does. It was like three or four moves. Yeah. That was the most Spider-Man thing I've ever fucking. Yeah. I rewatched that scene like 10 times. And I'm like, bro, that was fucking phenomenal. Yep. So he has that already. As far as the quippy stuff, I find him. He, uh, Tobey Maguire didn't really have that. He didn't have the sarcasm no, no, that no, no, you know from Spider-Man. No. Miles has it, but because he's immature. Yeah. Toby, uh, the, the Andrew, Andrew Garfield. He oh, had it because hey, he was just quippy, yes. sarcastic, funny. I, I really like his Spider-Man. It, it, it helped me like bring out the 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 knowing of which Spider-Man I like better. Mm-hmm. Which I really like Miles Morales. But as far as like movies and everything that we've already seen with all the Spider-Man. Yeah. I think that Andrew Garfield played a really good Spider-Man. He yeah. did. Yeah. His storyline too. But those two movies were so different between everything else that we've seen. Especially the drama. Because those two movies are like so drama filled. Well, wait, dramatic. which two? The Spider- Andrew Garfield, yeah, ones? Andrew Garfield, okay. yeah, the Amazing Spider Man. Yes, because uh, Tobey Maguire is just Spider Man, right? Mm-hmm. And then Andrew Garfield's the Amazing Spider Man, mm-hmm. and then uh, what's his name? Uh, Tom Holland. His just, are just just Spider Man. His are just his are Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man, yes. <laughs> I was hoping to see Spooderman on this one. <laughs> Which, um, if you, I don't know what Spooderman is. This is Spooderman right here. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it it's, dude, the chasing where he, all the Spider-Men are chasing him. The shit. T-Rex Spider-Man. <laughs> that one Spider-Man that's stuck in mid-air. <laughs> Did you see the Popsicle Spider-Man? No. <laughs> I yeah. didn't notice that one. I didn't see him, but of course TikTok. So, right? Yeah, they show the Popsicle Spider-Man. That's <laughs> awesome. The T-Rex Spider-Man. Yeah. Dude, there's just there's so many great things about this movie. But like I said, it, it tends to drag a little bit until it gets to the good stuff. Yeah. And then it gets really I mean, it was good. straight up a comic book movie. Yeah. Comic book. Even yeah. the, the face, the mm-hmm. shadows, everything on there. You know what I mean? The the, the way that they were depicted mm-hmm. was like straight up comic book. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can just not keep pointing out great things about this fucking movie it's just so good the oh that's what i was gonna say the the villain even though he's not quite the villain he's just kind of in the background for now oh uh spot the spot yeah oh, spot that that one is just giving me like holy shit they they gave you so much of why he's such a big villain but in little chunks yeah. it's like oh yeah by the way he's at the particle accelerator making himself more powerful and whatever mild stuff. Yeah. Hey, by the way, he just blew up the whole multiverse, and because of him, everything's going to shit. Like, dude, it, it's it's fucking phenomenal. I I struggle not giving it the same rating as Into the Spider Verse, but like I said, it's petty. It's because why give me that kind of a cliffhanger, bro? Yeah. Give me a fucking ending. No, but it was good to see him as a prowler. <sighs> oh yeah. You know, because that was the original storyline. It was him as a prowler going back to that. Right. Where that Spider-Man, that spider from another universe, mm-hmm. you know, glitched out and went in or somebody. How did he get into that? Because of the, the because multi, of the, the collider, collider, yeah, the collider thing. Yeah. So he came in and then ended up biting Miles Morales, which Miles Morales was not supposed to be Spider-Man. The original Spider-Man in Miles Morales's uh, universe mm-hmm. died. Right. Right. Kingpin killed him. Right, that would that happened in the first uh, Spider Man. Right, so and then he ended up being instead of being the villain. And yeah, it's, it's so crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you are not paying attention to the multiverse and you're not like in tuned with what the hell's going on, mm-hmm. you'd be totally confused. Yeah, and then like that line that Miguel has that he's just like, and don't even get me started with that the magician and the little and nerd nine, nine, in Earth. Nine, 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 nine. Like, dude, get the fuck. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, cross the Spider Verse, dude. Oh my god, and it's setting up this other one, which is October twenty twenty four. It's twenty twenty four, but I can't remember what yeah, month. I didn't see. I didn't so see. gotta wait a whole year for that shit. No. But it's so good. Great. I need to rewatch. Very it. rewatchable. Very rewatchable. Very much. I'm so. Waiting for it to stream. It's not. Is it streaming already? I don't think so. No, right. That would be a hell of a, a binge, though. We watched two, the both of them both back, of them, and back. Yeah. Well, the first one's an hour and 40 minutes, and the second one's two hours and 16 minutes. Because the first one's so fucking good. Yeah. I think that's part of the problem. I think I need to rewatch it and be like, okay, it's going to have a cliffhanger. Now rewatch it. Oh, shit. This is better than I thought. Yeah. Now that I know that that's going to happen. Yeah. Because it was so fucking good. Yeah. Any hoodie. They're both great. 
Yes. Oh, my God. The third one has a lot to live up to now. Yep. I'm sure it will. And wherever they go after that. Oh, the animation is great. Yeah. So, anywho. I guess that's that. Then we have kind of our list. Uh, Hopefully Indiana Transformers. I'll, I'll push through and watch Transformers. I just. Yeah. Oh, I like. I like the fact that they have a gorilla. That that fucker looks awesome. Yeah. Um, I just don't know if the story's gonna be okay. So Shia LaBeouf, that character, he's did gone. he die? I don't know. He's just gone. I don't know because so it's how many did he make? Two. So they're basically in that order, whatever order that they came out in. Because I looked it up. I'm like, okay, so do I need to watch uh, this Transformers or do I need to watch, you know, that Transformers? This is five or six. Uh, let's see. This is six, no? Because didn't Mark Wahlberg do two? No, he did one. Did he do two? No, he I, did one. Look it up. I'm th- he I think did he did one. two. I think it was two, two. I think it was two random, two, and then this one. So, chronological order is Bumblebee, which came out in 2018. And then, supposedly, The Rise of the Beast is supposed to be second. And then, Transformers, when it first came out in 2007. So, chronologically, Rise of the Beast is supposed to be before the first Transformers? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, chronologically, we were supposed to watch Bumblebee, the new one, Rise of the Beasts. Uh, then the Transformers 2007, then Rise of the Fallen, Dark Side of the Moon, Age of Extinction, and then The Last Night. So there's six. Including this one. Including this one, yeah. I I didn't watch The Last Night. I did. That So it is two of them with um, Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. Marky Mark. I think so. Without the Funky Bunch? Yeah, I don't remember, dude. Age of Extinction, I was watching that one. And then the last night, yeah, it does have, I think it has, uh, it doesn't say right here. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg, so he does come out in two. Okay. So it's six of them, including Bumblebee. Yeah. Akarun? That can't be right. Why not? Because if you, t- oh, six of them. Yeah. So if you take out Bumblebee and this one, yeah. So it was two with Shia LaBeouf, two with Mark okay. Wahlberg. Okay. Yeah. So I was right. Mm. I was watching Age of, Ex- Age of Extinction the other day. I have no idea which one that is. I think the last one I saw. No, I watched the one with Mark Wahlberg, so I've seen three of them at least. I didn't see Bumblebee. I haven't seen this one, and Bumblebee's I didn't see last good. night. I've seen them all. <laughs> so this is your Fast X. Got it. Pretty much. So until then. Oh, that's it? Okay. That's it, bro. Yeah, so that being said, guys, thank you for sticking with us through the technical difficulties. Always. Hopefully, you don't really tell where they are. But there is a telltale sign. But there is a telltale <laughs> sign. But that being said, guys, as always, be good to each other. More importantly, be good to yourselves. Peace. Twice. In the Middle East. Peace, peace. Is that an actual thing? From freaking, um, Urkel.